did you know that you can get excellent user insights in your Salesforce instance using Tableau? Human beings, I am Jay Stedman, and I'm going to show you how to do exactly that right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is head to sfdc.co slash Tableau Admin Insights. Capital letters are important there. And that's going to bring us right to an area on Tableau Public from the famous John Demby. And we're able to access these really fantastic visas that we can take a look at and we can also download. So I'm going to take a look at this access view and I'm going to select the download option, click Tableau Workbook, and then I'm going to go ahead and download that file. Now that I've got the file, I want to open it up in Tableau Desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open Tableau Desktop, click Open Workbook, and then select the file that I've downloaded, click Open, and that's going to bring the uh, dashboard, the viz, right here in front of me. Uh, I'm able to click Data Source, and from Data Source, I can sign into my Salesforce instance. And by logging in, I'll be replacing all of the sample data that came in that dashboard and it will be replaced with the data from my org. So we've authenticated here. I'm gonna click back into Tableau and you can see here that the data model has been uh, refreshed up there in the top. And now when I click into the visualization, I'm gonna see all of my own data from my own org reflected here in the dashboard. So we can see that the map has changed and uh, we know that it's authentic to my logging in because it's uh, there around the Chicagoland area. We can also see which browsers have been used to access uh, this org. And I'm able to see what OSs have been used to access this org. So that's great. But if I want to publish this and share it in my Salesforce org, I need to connect it to Tableau Online. So I collect share and then publish. And I'm going to go ahead and select yes there. And that is going to allow me to uh, log into my Tableau uh, online account. And from here, I am able to uh, publish the workbook. So I'm going to share the workbook. And kind of a neat thing to do here is we can actually schedule refreshes. Now, this is going to be really handy a little bit later as I embed this into my Salesforce instance. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and select hourly and I'll choose some uh, kind of generally available business hours here. So let's say something like, Oh, 6 a.m. until 5 p.m. And uh, we'll do that probably Monday through Friday. And selecting this time will allow me to uh, have an hourly refresh uh, during those business hours. So if I want to review what's going on with this uh, dashboard, I'm able to do that uh, during these times. It'll give me up-to-date information. Okay, so let's hop over into my Salesforce instance, and this is my developer org for my fictional restaurant, Poblano Grill. And I'm going to go into setup and I'm going to search for the app exchange. Now, this is going to allow me to find the Tableau Lightning Web Component. So I type in Tableau, and then I'm going to uh, select components from the tabs at the top. And from there, I'm able to select the Tableau Viz Lightning Web Component. And I'm going to go ahead and um, install this Lightning Web component uh, for the org. This is going to allow me to drag and drop the component into any page that I want and then uh, choose a URL. So I hop back into Tableau Online. I select my workbook that I have uploaded, published, and uh, scheduled refreshes on. And I click the Share option. And from there, I go ahead and click Copy Link. Once I copy the link, I'm going to hop back into my Salesforce instance. Time to hop back into my Salesforce instance. So I'm in my sales app. And now what I'm going to do is edit the page. So I'm just on the home page here, uh, just as an example. And from here, I'm going to type in Tableau. And that's going to show me this new Tableau visualization component that I downloaded from the App Exchange. And if I click on it, I'll see that I've got the option to change a URL. So I'll take that URL that I grabbed from Tableau. And I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to activate and make sure that it's the org default. Again, this is just an example. If I were doing this for a production instance, I'd want to make sure that I started development in a sandbox. So I've embedded it, I've saved it and activated it. And now we have this fantastic dashboard giving me user insights right here on the page. And we're going to make sure that you got access to the link where you can get these three 
dashboards and visualizations, uh, as well as give you some links for a Tableau trial if you don't already have uh, any experience with Tableau or if you'd like to get started with Tableau. So there you have it. We were able to take a fantastic dashboard connect it to our Salesforce instance, embed it into a home page, and then give access to any of the users that we think need to see these fantastic insights. Give it a shot. Give us a shout on Twitter. Uh, give me a shout on Twitter. And we'll see you next time for Did You Know?